Another report this morning relates to the strategy for the scouting. I hand over to Mario Diaz, Vice Chairman of the World Scout Committee and the Chairperson of the Strategy Coordination Group for his input. Mario, please. Dear Scout brothers and sisters, good morning, everybody. Wow, can see the whole world from up here. It's a wonderful view. During this presentation, I would like to give you some information on the work done on the Strategy Coordination Group, which has been responsible for taking Wasom's strategy forward in the last triennium. As you know, the strategy for scouting has been steering the direction of the movement for many years. It has provided us all with a common focus through the development of the mission and vision with the adoption of the seven strategic priorities using the centenary celebrations to focus on the development of the movement and in the last triennium concentrating our energy on the growth of the movement. The strategy has helped us to work together on similar topics using a common language. It has helped NSOs to offer quality scouting to more young people, focus on recruiting and retaining sufficient number of adults, and strengthen the brand, and strengthen the organizations at national level while working on governance at world level. World Scout Committee, at its first meeting in the Triennium, decided to set up a strategy coordination group with the goal to propose to the World Committee the overall direction for the strategy for scouting. The group focused on discussing the plans to achieve the mission and realize the vision of the movement in the medium to long term. We set the following objectives for our work. First, to propose a direction for the strategy for scouting, then identify the key actions needed to develop the strategy for scouting up to and beyond the next World Scout Conference, coordinate the plans for the implementation of the strategy in relation to educational methods, scouting's profile, and other related financial aspects. And finally, develop a plan to measure progress in the strategy for scouting. We have just um, heard the presentations on the educa Educational Methods Committee and the Scouting's Profile Committee, and they did an enormous amount of work. The Strategy Coordination Group was made up of the chairpersons of these two groups, John and Therese, as well as Mr. Lars Collin, the formerly chairman of the World Scout Foundation, Mr. Jen Sheeran, now the operations director of Candestec International Scout Center, Mr. Eric Koo, who is chairman of the budget committee, and Mrs. Nadia Moron, the youth advisor to the World Scout Committee. We were supported by a great professional team from the World Scout Bureau and have no really enough words to tell them all thank you for your support. So, well, what did this group of people do? Let's have a look first at what was done concerning the evaluation of the strategy, which was one of our goals. We decided that we needed to have a way of measuring progress in the strategy. So we think and develop what we call dashboard indicators, which provided us with some key measures to let us know if we were staying on track or not. We chose to develop three indicators in line with the drivers of change. For young people, the driver of change, drive uh, young people, we decided to focus on membership statistics and look at the membership share, that is, the penetration rate, to see if young people are actually choosing to be scouts in the different countries, the different regions. For support to the regions, the second drive, we choose to implement the net promoter score, 
and we surveyed the key people in NSOs to gather their views on the support that the committees and the various offices of the World Bureau are providing. And finally, for the driver tell the story, we decided to measure the health of the brand. Here's what we find out. Well, concerning membership, our key findings were, that, for example, many NSOs are not declaring their membership figures to Worsham uh, annually, as required by the Constitution. As long as the membership figures are linked to the fees paid to Worsham, there is likely to be under-reporting of membership figures. There should be maybe a disaggregation of these figures declared by NSOs and the fees paid to Worsham in order to achieve a more accurate membership global figure. And last but not least, many NSOs do not have currently a system, effective system of measuring their membership. Some of the work in this area is picked up by the proposals in the registration fee task for report, so I will not enter there. But I am pleased to announce that a tool to help NSOs to measure and register its membership has been developed, it's available to you, and this will be introduced in a seminar this afternoon. A second area of work of our group was referred to the net promoter score, which is a technical term. This was undertaken as an electronic survey asking two simple questions, which I hope are on the screen now. One in relation to overall customer satisfaction, the other in relation to recommending Watson services to a friend, which has used two very simple questions on a scale of one to 10. This is the first time that there has been a systematic analysis of the support that is provided by the organs of Watson at world and regional level to NSOs. There have been three surveys so far, and on each occasion, people have been asked to provide feedback, and indeed, we had feedback. It is still really too early to analyze the results fully, but we think there are encouraging signs that the net promoter score of our movement organization is increasing. We have moved from a small negative score from the first two surveys to a score, positive score of around 12. We are not happy yet. It is hoped that these surveys will be carried on in the next triennium to make sure that the positive trend continues and because it gives us a tool to measure the support that is provided to you, to the NSOs. In the work on brand identity, we also found in our research that the brand is valued and is increasingly being used by NSOs around the world. There is, however, a feeling that the scouting is not situating or differentiating itself clearly enough in relation to other organizations, world organizations with similar purposes, which is why we identified what we call the cause of scouting. This cause of scouting is proposed as education for life, and it is contained and explained in one of the conference resolutions on the strategy. Concerning the task of evaluating the strategy, a framework was developed and information was sought from different groups of people and stakeholders. The results are contained in conference document 6A. Essentially, the results of the evaluation revealed that there is a high level of awareness, around 95%, among official NSOs and NSA's contacts about the strategy for scouting and its components. Also that the main elements of the strategy for scouting, the mission, the vision, and the seven strategic priorities are still relevant and are being used in most NSOs. Half of the NSOs that responded to the survey 
indicated that they have used the global strategic priorities when developing their own plans or strategies. It also seems that the strategy helps NSOs to see where WASM is heading and confirm that they are moving in a similar direction. However, still around 50% of NSOs do not feel that the strategy has had a significant impact at operational level in their NSO or that it has been useful to focus their support to local scouting. So in the draft resolution from the Wall Scout Committee, the conference is asked to affirm the strategy for scouting and the seven strategic priorities as a framework for the development of scouting at national level, also for the next triennium. And the conference is also strongly encouraged national scout organizations to continue to use the seven strategic priorities as basis for development of their own national strategies designed to provide better scouting for more young people. These were key pieces of work in the evaluation of the strategy. And there was a still a second field of work that was considered by our strategy coordination group. Uh, that was the way to take in the strategy forward, how to provide a direction for the medium and long term. The question is, what's next? What happens now? Well, the World Scout Committee is proposing three resolutions in relation to the strategy for scouting, which we ask the conference to consider and hopefully adopt. Let's focus first of all how we should be working across the movement to support the growth and development of scouting. In his midterm report to NSOs, Secretary General Luc Panisot indicated that the institutional bodies of Washington at world and regional level should transform themselves and create the conditions for change to better support NSOs with one objective, to be able to respond to NSO requests at the nearest level with the best expertise available. Consequently, we should rethink the way in which they operate and in particular, the way in which services are delivered to NSOs. There has been thinking on the different levels of competence that are required, with the world level acting as a coordinator to maximize the capacities and ensure competency in regional offices so that at regional level, the needs of NSOs can be clearly identified. The world level must also maintain the competence of a think tank and be able to follow the big trends worldwide in the areas of youth and society in general and remain a clearinghouse of best practices. The regional level needs to develop a competence of consultancy to provide expertise and support as requested to NSOs. There should be cross-regional support and cross-fertilization of ideas, which is why the sharing of good practice is so important at this conference. At national level, NSOs need to assume their responsibility in the delivery and implementation of quality scouting and identify what support they need to be able to do this. A consultancy approach has been developed and the details are set up in conference document 6B. You will have a chance to explore this idea further in detail in the discussion groups on Wednesday afternoon. On the screens now, you will find the ballot points in the resolution dealing with the consultancy approach that is being proposed to the conference. As we're a bit uh, short of time, I will not read, but you can check this in conference document 6B. In relation to what items we should focus our movement in the medium to long term, we consider that we should be building on what we know already. We know that the scouting through the scout method 
and working in small groups offers young people the opportunity to both develop leadership skills and experience in being led. We know that the approach to leadership in the wider world is changing, described in terms such as now transformational leadership and value-based leadership. We know that leadership is an important and key life skill for young people to develop. And we also know that the scouting offers fantastic opportunities for young people to develop these skills. The ideas which were developed by the Strategic Coordination Group, again, are set up fully in this conference document I'm referring to. Remember the 6B. And this is called Be Prepared, Leadership for Life. Here, it sets out a new context for scouting. It proposes focusing on young people in the adolescent and young adult age ranges to offer them a leadership development program based on the scout promise and law using the small groups as a framework. The draft conference resolution contains the following text in relation to be prepared leadership for life. And again, it is on the screen. We will move on, but I really recommend you to have a close look to this document. We know that there have been developments in many NSOs along these lines, so it is important that these initiatives and results can be shared so that all NSOs have a fantastic product to offer to young people, one which helps them to develop leadership skills that will make a difference to their families, friends, scouting, local communities, and finally, the whole world. We hope that by placing our educational focus on be prepared, leadership for life, we will move the perception of scouting to a movement of children and young people that really focuses on education for life. It is through this that we will increasingly create a better world Dear friends, we are all here because we believe in creating a better world. As an educational movement, let's take the measures to ensure that we are in the front line of non-formal education to change the world, create a better world. Thank you very much.